April by Susan Coolidge. Hark upon the east wind, piping, creeping, comes a voice all clamorous with despair. It is April, crying song, weeping, over the chilly earth so brown and bare. When I went away, she murmurs, sobbing, all my violet banks were starred with blue. And oh, who has been here, basely rubbing bloom and odor for the fragrant crew? Who has reft a robin's hidden treasure, all the speckled spheres he laughed so well, and the buds which danced in merry measure to the chiming of a hussin spell? Where are all my hedgerows flushing with main, and the leafy rain that tossed so fair, like the spray from silver fountains playing, where the elm trees column rose in air? All are vanished, and my heart is breaking, and my tears very slowly drip and fall. Only death could listen without awaking to the grief and passion of my call. Thus she plaineth, when ten million voices, tiny, murmurous, like drops of rain, raised in song, as in the wind rejoices, ring we answer, We are here again! We are hiding, April, did you miss us? None of us were really gone away. Stop the pretty heat and gentle kiss us, once before we all come out to play. Here are the clustering birds of roses and the dandelion's mimic sun. Of their much beloved and vanished poses, none are missing, not a single one. Little points of green push out to greet her, little creepers grasp her garment's hem. Hidden sweetnesses grow ever sweeter, and she bends and brightly smiles at them. Every tear is answered by a blossom, every hive of songs and laughter blend. Apple blooms upon the breezes toss her. April knows her own and is content.